What's going on everybody? It's Game Unboxing Reviews here and welcome back to another LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 video. So in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to create Thor from Avengers Infinity War but please be warned in this video I do talk about heavy spoilers regarding Thor Ragnarok. Anyway guys without further ado let's get to it. Alright, so obviously the first thing you're going to do is come to the character customizer, which is in Avengers Mansion. Then you want to come all the way over here and choose a brand new character slot. You can see I've already made Nomad, you know, the costume that Captain America wears in Avengers Infinity War. And we also made Black Widow's new suit as well. And like I've already said, we're now going to be making Thor from the end of Thor Ragnarok and also in Avengers Infinity War as well. You know, it depends on how you look at it, but we are basically calling this the Infinity War version of Thor. Even though this is pretty much what he looks like at the end of Ragnarok as well. Anyway, let's get started. So, we're not going to have a weapon this time because, of course, Mjolnir was destroyed. So, we don't need anything like that. For the hair, we're going to leave that until we've got the headpiece. But for the headpiece, this is where it's going to get quite controversial because it depends on what people think of this. So, the head that I settled on for, you know, Thor with an eye patch and all that kind of stuff is, of course... Odin. I just think that is probably the best you're going to find with the headpieces that are available. But like I said in the Captain America video, you got to think, this is pretty much just a temporary replacement because next year, I'm almost certain when that Infinity War DLC comes out, we are going to get Thor with an eye patch and everything. If we don't, I'll be really, really shocked. So for now, this is just a fun little temporary replacement that you can enjoy in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 because of all the Infinity War hype that is going around right now because the hype for that film is just insane and I mean you could go with Nick Fury if you wanted to but I just think Odin's looks much better the eye patch is exactly the same and the beard really doesn't bother me so I'm happy with it now then for the hair so what I'm gonna do is quickly I'm gonna change the Thor's head just so I can get the right hair color because in the actual story you see Thor at one point where he doesn't actually have a helmet on so I just want to get that exact hair color just so it's you know the same as what you see in the film it's probably that, isn't it? No, it's definitely, definitely that. All right, nice. So it's similar to Captain America's, or if not exactly the same. All right, so now we can go back to Odin's head. And if you look at it, I think it looks good. I think he looks really good. The gray beard really doesn't bother me. I think he looks awesome. All right, now then, on to the body. So mostly all of this, I would say, is pretty much Thor's, you know, costume. It's There's not really that many changes here and there. Uh, it is pretty much just Thor's costume just with an eye patch and hair and different powers. But, you know, that's what he looks like in the movie, so that's what we're going for. I mean, you could go with this, actually, come to think of it. But it doesn't have gold on it, you see. That's the thing. It doesn't have any gold, so I wouldn't use that one. I would personally just go with the Ragnarok chest piece. I think that works the best. It's just the most accurate to what you see in the film, you know? And then for the hands, sorry, the arms, you could make them white, but let's see if there's any that have, like, uh, you know, things on the on the uh, wrists, because he does have those in the film. We've got Bowman here. Mm, nah, that doesn't work. We've got, what else have we got? Hammer? Nope, doesn't work either. What else? Come on, give us something good. Ragnarok? No. Oh, that would be perfect if it just had one on each side, but it only has one. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Okay, fine. We'll just go with uh, skin tone arms. There you go. Skin tone arms. And then... Wait a sec. That's messed up. And yeah, that was weird, wasn't it? Huh. Uh, for the hands, we're going to go with... I don't think he's wearing any gloves from what I could see in the trailers. So we'll go with them. And for the hips... We'll just go with Ragnarok again. Like I said, it is basically just Thor Ragnarok uh, Thor, just with an eye patch and spiky hair. Um, so it's not that different, but like I said, that's probably the best you can do for what he's wearing in the trailer. You, you see in the trailer, he is wearing a much darker outfit. Like Black Widow, it's a very black outfit. But with this, I think it's the most accurate to what you can get. I know it's more grey than black, but there isn't really anything as close to like an Asgardian black armor in this from what I can see. I mean, you could resort to using something like this, but you know, that's more civilian clothes than anything. It's not really uh, what he wears. There's also Ragnarok. 
that's kind of cool, but it's obviously got the, the robot bits sticking out, so it just doesn't work as well. That's kind of cool, but just the gold. And also, there's nothing on the back, so that's kind of annoying. So yeah, we'll just we'll just stick with Thor. There you go. I mean, you could use, if you wanted to, if you wanted to make it look a little different, you could go to the black legs and then the black hips all the way at the top of here. But I just think it looks better with the Ragnarok legs and hips, basically. That's just my opinion, though. If you guys prefer to do, do something else, absolutely go for it. Like I always say in these, you know, these videos, this is just my version of how I would try and make this character or how, the, how I would make this costume in the game. But obviously some people might do it different, and I'd love to see what they come up with. Again, that beard looks cool. I, I really think that the whole eye patch and everything, it just makes you forget about the beard. It doesn't bother me at all. I love it. Nice. So he doesn't have a cape from what I could see in the trailer. No cape at all. So that's pretty much it for the design. And like I said, no weapons. So now we'll move on to the abilities. So we're not going to have tracking, dig, teleport, nothing like that. We will have super strength and crack Lego walls and no techno access. All right. So we're just in the passive abilities, just crack Lego walls and super strength. So he's basically just strong. Um... Alright, now then, for tap square, if you want him to fight, you could have tap square as punch, and then circle you could have as the bolts, but we're just going to have the bolts because I just think it looks cooler. So we're going to have bolt origin, both hands, there we go. Uh, I don't know why it's done that animation, but I'll, I'll sort that out in a bit. But basically, we're going to have bolt style 2, and then for the color, I think it's already on, isn't it? The color that I could see look most like what the lightning looked like in Ragnarok is probably this one. You know, it's not too... That's too bright, if you see there. And then, like, over here, it's just too light blue. So I think like, that that is just the perfect balance of what it looks like in the film. So we're going to go with that for the bolts. And make sure as well... So you've got the bolt style as two. You've got the bolt origin as both hands. Uh, you want the bolt color as that. But also, the damage. Make sure the damage is electric bolts. Then, for hold square, I don't think... Should we have someone on hold square? I don't know. We'll leave that. We'll have circ hold circle as... I don't know. What It depends on what you're more comfortable with when you're playing on the game. You know, do, would you rather hold square to do like a lightning beam or would you rather circle? I tell you what, I probably prefer hold square. I'm just seeing if there's anything else we need. I don't think we need an explosion attack or a beam or a targeted lunge. No stealth. No. Nope, I don't think we need anything like that. Okay, so we'll just have a hold square beam. So of the beam type, remember again, electric beam. Then for the beam uh, style, you want... You could go with that, but I just think that that doesn't really suit Thor. I would say you definitely want the lightning. And again, make sure to choose the same color. See, it looks pretty cool. And then for the beam origin, that really depends on what you guys would prefer. I personally think that looks really, really cool. Both hands, so we'll go with both hands. I always think the both hands attacks look the coolest, so we'll go with that one. And then, from what I understand, I don't think he can really fly at the moment. I think Mjolnir helped him fly, so... I don't think we should really give him flight or anything like that. I think the only way of getting around he should have is the hyper jump because he did that huge jump in the film in uh, Thor Ragnarok. So I think that works quite nicely. So we'll go with the hyper jump. And now we need to move on to the passive traits. All right. Passive traits. So for the health, we'll go with... Hmm. What should we have for the health? Just red, I guess. Uh... And then for the health type... Actually, no, 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 not red. No, let's not be boring. Let's do blue. Yes, blue. And then for the health type, we'll go with standard. For the voice, just go with any male voice. <laughs> that was weird. But for the movement speed, just go with default. And for the target reticle, I'd say go with... Hmm, what should we go with here? I don't know. That's more for the Nova Core than anything, and that's just blue. Ah, we'll go with that. It's just, it's a bit more fancy, I guess. I know it's for the Nova Core, but it just works better. So, we've done the appearance, the abilities, the passive traits, the weapons. Now we just need to name him. Alright. We'll just put Thor. Because he doesn't have a name change or anything. Or, 
you could put King Thor. Yeah, King Thor, that looks cool. Now he's the king of Asgard, but Asgard, it's not a place, it's a people. He's the king of the people. All right, so now we just need to choose a background. Obviously that is Asgard and ruins, so that's probably the best you're gonna find. I don't think there's anything that looks like Norway. <laughs> if they ever get to Norway, that is. Uh, I mean, from the Infinity War trailer, it doesn't look good. I'd say, I'd say we'll just go with that. I think that works really nicely, actually. And there you go, guys. That is my custom-made King Thor from Avengers Infinity War made in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. Now, of course, what we're going to do is drop King Thor into the Chronopolis hub world and see just what he can do. And here he is. This is, of course, my custom-made Thor from Avengers Infinity War. Let's just get a good look at him here. Like I said, not that much different, you know, from what you actually see from Thor in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. But, of course, we've got the spiky hair. We've got the eye patch. We've got a grey beard, which we can't, you know, get rid of. But, to be honest, it doesn't really bother me. And, of course, he doesn't have a cape or Mjolnir either. He doesn't have the hammer. Now, the abilities we gave him are more on par with what you see from Thor Ragnarok because, of course... He can shoot lightning like that, which is very cool. I think the color we picked for the lightning is pretty much perfect. That seems very similar to what we see of him, you know, of the lightning in the movie. And then when you hold down circle, yeah, he does that as well. And of course, we also gave him some traversal abilities, like being able to jump really high like that which is very, very cool. And we'll be doing that a lot in this video. Now, the reason I picked Groot as the co-op character is because I heard that basically in Avengers Infinity War, Rocket Raccoon and Hulk are going to be getting along. And it's also been said that um, Groot, I think... No, no, sorry, not Rocket... Yeah, did I say... Yeah, Rocket Raccoon and Hulk, they are going to be getting along quite well in Avengers Infinity War, and apparently Groot is going to be having some sort of mentor. So I'm guessing what they're doing is doing a bit of a swap. So, like, Hulk is going to be hanging around with Rocket, while Groot is going to be hanging out with Thor, and I think... Thor will be like a mentor to Groot, which is pretty cool. So I figured why not have them team up in this in this video because I think that's a cool little team up right there. All right, so I can see some uh, bad guys on the map, so let's go take care of them. All right, whoa, I think he just jumped on a tree. That was cool. Whoa, overshot that completely. Oh, well. Aha, here we are. All right, take care of these guys. I'm gonna lift you up and throw you. Take that. Nice. I love how it actually uh, electrocutes them. That's so cool. Yes. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. All right, let's get going, Groot. Whee! Oh, what the heck? <laughs> that was weird. Yeah, you know the uh, the eye patch. Uh, you know, I think he looks awesome with the eye patch in the movie Thor. I think it really it w it was a really cool thing. I wasn't expecting to see. Like, I I honestly, out of all the things, I was thinking what could have happened in Thor Ragnarok. But for some reason. Even though it does, when you think about it, now seem likely, it was not something I was thinking of. I did not think that was going to happen. So it was a really, really cool surprise. And I just love all the different designs all the characters are getting. You know, Captain America forgot to shave. <laughs> and he's got a very gritty, dark blue suit now. You know, Black Widow's got blonde hair. Peter has a an iron suit, which is really, really cool. And Thor, you know, he's he's had the biggest change. I mean, he's he's lost the hammer. He's lost an eye. He lost his hair. <laughs> He's like got spiky hair now. He doesn't have a cape. All he has is like lightning powers and stuff, which is really cool. I think what Taika did with Thor Ragnarok, I think he's made the character of Thor his own. I think he's made him really interesting and different. And I'm just excited to see more of him in Avengers Infinity War and Avengers 4. Thor and Hulk are two characters I really, you know, I can see them killing off, but I really, really don't want them to be killed off. Here's the thing, we don't want anyone to be killed off. Heck no, I don't want to see Iron Man die or Captain America. I mean, it's gonna happen, unfortunately. You know, one of those characters, if not both of them, is gonna die. 
But Thor and Hulk especially I don't want to see die because I just think there's so much they can still do with those characters. And I think after Ragnarok, you know, Taika showed that people people want to see more Thor and Hulk. You know, even if it's separate films, they want to see more of those characters. And I think it would be crazy to kill them off now, you know? I think it, we need more adventures with those characters. Thor Ragnarok proved you can have a crazy awesome time with Thor. I mean, I don't want to spoil too much about Thor. I mean, this video... Well, to be honest, I can spoil it, because if you're watching this video, you've seen Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> so, I guess I can spoil it. You know, Thor Ragnarok, it, uh, it showed... Uh, you know, like Serta and Hela and Sakaar. You got this huge gladiator arena with Hulk and Thor. It was absolute madness, that movie. It was just crazy fun, and I loved every second of it. And I think that movie's proved that Marvel now, they've gotten to this point where they could just do whatever they want. And it'll, and if it's done right, it could turn out into an amazing movie, even if what they are basing it on is absolutely crazy. So I think people want more stuff like that from Thor. I think people want... I'm not sure if I'd say they want a whole new trilogy, but people definitely want more wacky adventures with Thor, like Ragnarok. And the same can be said for Hulk. People definitely want to see more Hulk. I've mentioned in my videos in the past, I'd really like to see them take the Grey Hulk uh, route. That's never been done on the big screen, and it would be really interesting to see how they would pull it off. It nearly happened in Age of Ultron. Hulk nearly turned grey when Scarlet Witch, um, you know, was controlling his mind, but they did, but they decided to, like, scrap it last minute. But imagine that. That would have been really cool. But I think it would feel more appropriate in something like Infinity War or Avengers 4. So I really hope that's what they're doing. I hope to see Hulk go grey in the, uh, in either of those movies. Or both of them. But if not, it's not like a deal breaker. It's not something I'll be annoyed about. It's just something cool I think would be great to see in the movie. And I think it would be interesting to see how they would do it. All right, let's go take care of these bad guys. Hello, citizen in peril over here. But yeah, of course, with with uh, at the end of Ragnarok, with Thor now on a journey back to Earth, back to well, I guess Norway. Um, you know, on on that journey. With all those Asgardians, because you got to remember, Asgard, Asgard isn't a a place. It's a people. It's he's he is the king of his people. He's looking after them, and he is taking them on this journey. And of course, with Infinity War, I'm pretty certain that journey doesn't go as according to plan. And Thanos probably messes it up and Thor ends up you know with the Guardians of the Galaxy and as you can see from the trailer Bruce ends up with the uh, the uh, who's it again no Doctor Strange and Wong and Tony and uh, and Nat and all of them like he ends up with them again so you know that that trip they're going back to Earth with that's not gonna go according to plan so I'm really excited to see where that what that means for Thor like are, are all those Asgardians gonna die? Is he gonna be thinking about that a lot? Or are they, is something gonna happen to them? Are they gonna get held captive by Thanos? You know, one thing's for certain, you cannot kill Korg and Meek, all right? You can't do that. If you do that, I won't be happy. <laughs> I'll be very, that is one thing I'll be very mad about if they kill Korg and Meek. But I don't think they will, because Kevin Feige has said, he knows how much people love those characters, he knows how much they want to see more, and Marvel Studios want to see more from them as well. So don't expect them to die. But if they do, we'll all be very mad. <laughs> but yeah, I just wonder if after Avengers 4, if those Asgardians are safe, and, you know, they, let's say they are held prisoner and Thor gets them back, will Thor continue to try and be king of Asgard, king of his people, or will he go off on another path? Big skull in the sky. I mean, he is king of Asgard, you can't get away from that, but I just wonder if that is where they're going to leave Thor after all these movies, or if he will still go on crazy adventures, and we will see him again in the movies. It could go a number of ways, Infinity War is going to be a crazy movie. Looks like Absolutely insane. So many possibilities, guys. It's just nuts. Absolutely. I personally have always thought, that, you know, the character of Thor, when I was a kid, I didn't really like the character that much. And it wasn't that I hated him. I just thought he was kind of boring compared to the rest of the Marvel characters. Um, 
at the time, you know, I was more interested in Spider-Man and Wolverine and people like that. Um, but now, I've, I really like uh, Thor. I thought he's, he's cool. He's not one of my favorite characters, but... Well, he wasn't one of my favorite characters, but I thought he was cool. But after Ragnarok, you know, I've always liked Chris Hemsworth as Thor, but now I think he's absolutely incredible as the character. He's really made Thor his own. And I think he's changed him for the better. And I love the changes they've given him. I think he's a lot more interesting without the hammer, um, if I'm honest. And I would, I would actually prefer them not to give him something else. But I think he will. I think, I think he will get something else. But I just hope they do it in a way that doesn't feel like, oh, uh, you lost a hammer, here's something else. You know, I, I hope it's done in a cool way. But I think it will be. Um, but, I mean, you got to think, from the trailer, we've only seen one trailer, but from the Infinity War trailer, we can see he doesn't have anything yet. It's still, he doesn't have Mjolnir, he doesn't have, uh, Looks like some I can't remember the weapon that everyone keeps Don't thinking he might get, you know. Stuff, huh? He doesn't have anything like that yet, so we don't know. We don't know. Even in Infinity War, he might not get a new weapon, and then that could happen in Avengers 4. He gets he gets a new weapon. Infinity War, you got to think, is is basically just part one. I know it's not called part one or part two anymore, but it is basically part one of the conclusion to this ten-year story that we've been building towards. So it's going to be pretty crazy. I really can't wait to see the Guardians and Thor. Working together, that's going to be amazing. I think, I think the Russo brothers have said that, uh, you know, those characters in particular work really well together because after what Taika did with Thor Ragnarok, you know, the tone of Thor has changed completely, and it's it's a lot similar, not completely, but similar to uh, to the Guardians of the Galaxy movies that James Gunn has made. And Groot's a baby again. Wow, let's just age him back up. Uh, so, you know, those characters will get along quite well. And I'm sure there'll be some very funny moments between Thor and, uh... Thor and the Guardians, you know, Chris Pratt and all of them. All of them hilarious actors. Thing is, Chris Hemsworth has always proved he's a very funny actor. In, in the skits and things he's done online, you know, little things like that. He's always been really funny. But with Thor Ragnarok, they just let him loose and just let him be hilarious as much as he wanted and he was so flipping funny so funny so I, I really hope you know I love that that Infinity War is gonna have a very very dark tone as it should you know it's like all-out chaos but I'm really excited to see how they balance that out with funny characters like Spider-Man, Ant-Man, uh, Rocket, Groot, you know all, all the Guardians, Thor, Hulk, all of them who are quite funny I'm really excited to see how they balance it all out Hopefully in a good way where they don't make jokes during really scary moments, you know, like there, there has to be serious moments, but then there'll also probably be moments where it's a bit more lighthearted and funny. That's that's how I think it will go down. That's the thing, though. I think um, some people like the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies for the seriousness and then others love it for the comic relief and the crazy wacky space adventures and things and me personally I love both I love serious stories like Captain America the Winter Soldier and then I love really silly fun stories like uh, Thor Ragnarok and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 so for Infinity War to be a mix of both I think it'll be the best of both worlds hopefully that's what we're all hoping for at least we'll see I I'm sure it's gonna be great that's the thing I, I can't be worried about Infinity War it looks too good to be worried about I can't even nitpick it. Like, the CGI in that trailer looked... I, I think I heard some people complaining about it, and I just don't understand that at all. Like, first off, even if there is something to complain about when it comes to the CGI in that film, you shouldn't be complaining about it because that movie isn't even out yet. They've still got a couple of months left, well, actually quite a few months, to, to fix any issues that people might have with it. So, if you think the CGI looks bad, it's going to look so much better um, once the movie actually comes out. And if you think the CGI looks good, wait till you see the movie, because it'll look so much better than it does now. I mean, I thought Thanos in particular, I was blown away by how lifelike he looks. Like, he looks real! That whole trailer, every shot of him looked almost real. Like... Thank the CGI looks far more realistic. It's absolutely incredible. 
And I love how they haven't really changed Josh Brolin's voice too much. It's very much a... It's just his voice, really. It, which I think is great, because I think his voice is perfect for Thanos. And I think he, he's just going to knock it out of the park. You know, he's already proved he's great at playing the character from the little cameos he's had in the other movies. But a whole movie to do with him is going to be amazing. And I think the Russo brothers and Kevin Feige and everyone at Marvel Studios, I think they have said that it could very much be seen as Thanos' movie, which is crazy, but I like that approach. Because that, that means we will probably get a lot of screen time from Thanos. And I think that's one of the complaints people have had with the villains in the MCU in the past. People have said, you know, the villains didn't get enough screen time. I just killed myself accidentally. Um, which I, I can understand that. You know, there are villains where I wish we saw more of them. Uh, but with Thanos, I don't think we're going to have to worry about anything like that. I think we're going to get tons of screen time from him. Especially when you think we're going to see him in both Avengers 3 and 4. It's got to be huge, guys. Absolutely massive. Alright, I think that'll do for this video. I think, uh, unless there's any more bad guys that I can see, which I can't. Hey, it's you again. Oh, it's this guy. That was quite a funny quest. about our little incident right we know tearing all that stuff down we got the wiring completely messed up i mean <laughs> can you imagine something actually being set up that way on purpose <laughs> he is lightning proof hmm i'm the god of thunder <laughs> whoa that's a big jump All right, cool. I can't see any more crime from the look of it. And we've kind of shown off all of uh, Thor's abilities. Oh, speak of the devil. There we go. There's some crime. Nice. Let's go take them out. This is the future, huh? Well, maybe we should cut back on the fossil fuels like that smart futurologist guy. Don't, don't see any crime. Take that. Training taking place on the mountain earlier. Must be right, where's the other guys? There he is. And then this last guy, we're gonna pick him up because that'd be cool. Ah. Alright, here he is. We're gonna beat him up. Stay out of Asgard. Oh wait, no, Asgard's gone. <laughs> stay, stay out of, uh, I guess, Manhattan? Yeah, stay out, of, stay out of Manhattan. That makes more sense because we are actually in Manhattan. Anyway, let's get back to Avengers Mansion. Lady who runs it always seems to be in some After we destroy these cars and things, because that's always fun. Yeah! Nice. Whoa. Alright, cool. Alright, guys, so I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. You know, like I said, the pieces are very similar if not exactly the same to what you see from Thor in the actual game. But from what we've seen from Avengers Infinity War, you know, Thor's outfit isn't really that different. It just looks a bit darker. But of course, like I said, with Cap and uh, Black Widow and now Thor, this is just a temporary replacement. After watching the Infinity War trailer, I just had to make a, a few cool things from that trailer in this game. So I made Black Widow, Thor, and Captain America as Nomad. But of course, next year, we're going to get an official LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 Avengers Infinity War character and level pack. So we're going to get a bunch of characters from that movie and a level probably inspired by that movie as well. We'll probably even get vehicles. So... These are just cool little temporary replacements, but next year, we're going to get the real deal, and I can't wait to showcase them. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for lots more videos real soon, and as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.